you guys. Uh, wow, God, that was awful. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my allotment diaries. Uh, my name is Emma. If you are new, I'd love for you to subscribe to my uh, allotment diaries and just vlog in my first allotment plot. I'm actually currently uploading the vlog for yesterday. Um, but I thought I would do a little vlog for Saturday morning, um, just showing you some of the things that we're about to take over to the allotment plot. Obviously, I don't drive. Um, if you didn't know that and so I rely on my husband to take stuff to the plot that I can't carry myself though I do a pretty good job at carrying stuff I have to say um, but today he's finished work at last so I wanted to show you some of the things we're going to take over to the plot and I'll show you us taking it over I'm sure it'd be entertaining as usual um, so down here I've got my little mini uh, incinerator it's a mini one it's just a little one and I'm going to use this just to get some ash for the strawberry plants and to burn little bits and bobs. I just thought it'd be fun, to be honest. I like fire. I like making fire. I enjoy setting fire to things. So I thought that would be quite good. I'll get that down the plot. That might come in useful. I've also got this old curtain pole. Now, I thought this would be quite good for like a bean part of my bean structure or some kind of growing thing. Um, so taking those over as well. Here's some old guttering. Actually, maybe, actually, hold on, let me put the huh? What? Oh yeah, good idea. This is some old guttering that we're going to put on the side of my shed. I'm going to try and manipulate to it. It's quite long actually, but hey ho. And then we've got this pallet we're using in our garden. Um, but there's another pallet at the back that Dave's just gone to get. Really happy about doing this for me today. <laughs> I've been like pestering him for months to get stuff to the plot. And finally, finally, he has complied with my wishes and we are getting this stuff to the plot. I love doing stuff like this at this time of year as well because no one's like, no one's there. So when I carry through a load of pipes and stuff looking like I've never seen a pipe in my life, like no one's there to sort of like judge me and stuff. So I feel quite free at this time of year. And then throughout like the summer months when everyone's there, I like to just hide away on my plot <laughs> and make all my mistakes by myself. So. This is a good time of year to do this sort of stuff. I think it's quite heavy. It looks really bloody heavy. I hope he doesn't ask me to help. <laughs> what am I going to do with it, guys? Well, actually, don't say that now when he's carrying it. <laughs> this is the wrong time to back out. I'm not sure that's going to fit. He's making it fit. He knows what he's doing. Yes, Dave. You got it, Dave. <laughs> Heavy, right? <laughs> you look so unimpressed. I'm just filming. I can't help. It's too heavy. It's not far, I promise. Oh, come on, let me just get, let me just get my get going over. <laughs> I there thought that was really clever. <laughs> We were just saying that they should, they should come on wheels so you can just drag them along. Why have, we, why have you not got a little wheel? He's <laughs> found his inner hulk now, so he seems to be coping quite well. I don't know how he's going to cope on this bit though, because it gets really bumpy. You can do it, Dave. Brilliant. Right, straight down this path. Oh, God. All the way to the end. And that's it. That's it. You can do it. Come on. <laughs> it's just the it's end. It's there, just yeah. Yeah, it's just down there, right to the end, and that's my plot. Right okay. Just take a breath, pick it up, go. Shut up. <laughs> he thinks he's got it hard. Look what I'm carrying. Bloody guttering. What's he moaning for? Right, I made it. There's the incinerator, guttering. That was hard work, but I persevered and I'm here. I don't know where Dave is now. He's lost. Oh, here he comes. Oh, God, he's really going to hate it down this path. Me, but to be fair, like, I never bring him here. I never make him do anything. So this is like, you know, punishment. <laughs> is there any me hanging? Yeah. <laughs> right, we're going to go back and get some cardboard and curtain poles. <laughs> he doesn't look right now. You don't look right, Dave. <laughs> You know, you got limp. No, I was in trouble yesterday. Oh, okay. I haven't damaged you permanently no, then. I'm a dead leg. Okay. Right, 
second run is a cardboard run and curtain poles. So this is a lot easier, I think. Well, I know it is. Hey Dave, before you run away from my plot, can I ask for one more favour while you're here? Because I've got a few problems that I've tried to solve myself many times that is unsolvable. Can you help Who's me? Who's under that? <laughs> that baby the neighbour. <laughs> Couldn't be doing with them anymore. Buried them. And um, so my wheelbarrow is broken. I haven't got any tools then. No, I mean, I need a new screw. But I just uh, can't right, figure it out. Right. Can you please figure out what that is and how it works? It's been broken for ages I'll and I'm just, right I'm really time. struggling. I can't get it out. I can't get it out. You see what I mean? There's, there's a whole multitude of problems going on here. I can't get the bloody screw out. Yes. Right, do you think you'll be able to replicate that yeah, screw of somehow? Yeah, fine. I'll use my uh, 3D printer. Excellent. And that cardboard can't stay back there because it's going to fly away. Can I put it in my shed? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, bring it over this way. I hope if you're here, you're helping. Be the rules of the allotment plot. If you are here, you are here to work. <laughs> so I want to know why there's an orange hanging on some sort of pagan ritual. <laughs> it's for birds. Oh. Right. <laughs> pagan ritual. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's for there. birds. It's a it's a natural bird feeder. It's got a little bit of mould in it. What do you think of it? It's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. What do you think of the pond? You haven't seen the pond. What one? That one there. What one? Those are bites in the leaves, isn't it? Oh no, that's just some caterpillars, but the broccoli's fine. Okay. That's What's deceiving. This one? Strawberries. Yeah, that's strawberries. Well that's done. Huh? Oh, bloody fox. So it's like one long bed now. Where's that wood from? It's just wood around the plot. Again. No, I've not been nicking stuff again. It's my wood. Oh, is it your wood now, isn't it? Yeah, it's my wood now. It's on my plot. It's mine. Um, and Random that's broad well. beans. And this is the pond. Look how much it's grown. No, but I think I will get them next year because look how much this plant's grown over it. Yeah. yeah. It'd be mad not to can't take out your offer. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> Little buggers. Mad. I know. Like Made such a nice home for them and they won't turn up, will they? I'm just going to whack those curtain poles in the shed because I'm worried about them. This guttering looks too big for the shed, but we'll deal with that another day. That's, that's a problem for another day. Curtain poles go in here. Brilliant. Right, more stuff, more supplies, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog today, and I will see you again Monday. So have a nice Sunday and rest of your weekend. Bye, everyone.